forward to a really heavenly evening here tonight in Hull. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. The winner of the Young Industrial Award sponsored by Buick Energies and Services is Thomas Isaac. Uh, to be an ICME Global Award winner feels uh, a very large honour. So it feels like the vindication of all of the decisions that I've made over the years and uh, it's a very proud moment. So the work that we do at Progressive Energy uh, is to develop low carbon projects mainly in the UK and primarily to decarbonise the gas grid either via hydrogen or via bio SNG. Uh, largest career achievement so far is um, achieving the UK's first hydrogen exemption granted by the HSC on the 1st of November last year. Uh, so this was the first time that the HC has ever allowed a uh, project or company to inject hydrogen in, into a grass grid above the regulatory limit. So what it means for homes across the UK is that um, it's, the, it's the very first step to decarbonising the gas grid properly. So um, we've had a long history of, de of decarbonisation with, within the UK. We've started primarily in coal. We've now started to tackle oil with the ban in 2040. The next big task is natural gas. And the obvious replacement for that, or the viable replacement with that, is hydrogen. Uh, and being able to go beyond the current regulatory limits of hydrogen injection within the UK allows homes to become decarbonised without making big changes. Uh, by 2023, we should have developed the evidence base that allows a hydrogen blend to be distributed ubiquitously across the gas network so every home would be serviced by a blend of hydrogen which ultimately uh, could reduce carbon savings by as much as removing two and a half million cars off the road without anyone really noticing. So collaboration across the engineering disciplines is incredibly important. Um, really the lines between the different institutes is pretty much arbitrary um, and it's a matter of um, perspective. Given the complexity of the problems that we face today, working in silos doesn't really work. You need to work across the institutes and across the engineering disciplines to find answers. Mm -hmm.